I'm going to talk about um, something I know everyone loves to talk about, and that's requirements. But I'm, I want to I want to try to make it a little more interesting. Um, so the kind of requirements I want to talk about are illities. Um, for those of you that have worked with me, we've had I'm sure we've had this conversation um, before. Um, so illities are software quality attributes. They're also known as non-functional requirements or um, architecturally significant uh, requirements. And that sounds super boring, right? I mean, everyone knows what the difference is between functional requirements and non-functional requirements are, right? I mean, functional requirements say this is what the system should do, this is the behavior. Non-functional requirements are sort of like how. Right, so non-functional requirements are, again, kind of boring, kind of dry. You can see it's constraints, external interfaces, performance. But what I want to focus on are quality attributes. And what I mean by quality attributes are things like um, guiding principles that allow us to make sure we're delivering quality that the user might not necessarily ask for. The user might not say, I want, I want the system to be changeable. Right? I, I don't want to pay $30,000 to add a feature to it. I want, to, I, want to, this, I want the team to be able to do it in one sprint. All right? I don't want when I pull up a profile of somebody I'm keeping an eye on, because that's my job, I don't want it to take 45 seconds to show me the details about that person. Right? So these, these guiding principles advise and influence our decisions as we practice our craft. Um, and the hope is that they encourage a culture of quality in our software. So for example, il some, some sample illities, before I show you some of these samples, if you, if you uh, go to Wikipedia, and you look for software quality attributes, you'll get a page with about 100. I, I had no idea that there were this many. I usually only think of six or, or eight. Um, but these are some that, that resonated and have resonated with me in the past. Obviously, flexibility, you know, the, the usuals, right? Scalability, maintainability, all that good stuff. Reusability, usability, testability, extensibility, durability, right? All the illities, there are more, obviously. But these are the kinds of things that I, I really hope that we all think about when we are uh, delivering on our functional requirements for the customer. Now, illities could be situational. The folks that built Team Fortress might, have, might not be thinking about maintainability or operability. They might be thinking of extensibility and performance. Or GarageBand, right, might be thinking also of performance. You want to be able to add a new waveform and, and mix it in real time and all that good stuff. Twitter might yet have a, a whole other set of abilities. They may want operability and maintainability in addition to scalability. Um, and so, again, none of, you know, it, abilities can sometimes become a bit of a religious war um, on teams. Um, and I don't think that there's necessarily any preference. Um, I think you have to sort of come to that consensus as a group. And you might even need to, to in, uh, enlist your customer to help them to understand, to help understand what's most important to them. Is, is maintainability most important or is flexibility? The current project I'm on seemed to have a high focus on flexibility um, when I joined. And that comes at a cost, right? Fle super flexible stuff can be very complicated and very difficult to maintain. Uh, it, it also can have impacts on performance, um, depending on how you implement it. So, so it's totally situational. Don't you know? There's no one right answer to this sort of thing. So, what I'd like everyone to do, and I brought in, uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I did not. The company wonderfully paid for these lovely flip charts. I'd like everyone to, to split up into groups of four. Um, we can just go d straight down the middle, and then like the front two tables back two tables, front two, back two. I'd like everyone to split up and, and discuss illities and how you would rank them as a group. Um, again, <laughs> there's no right or wrong answer, no argument. I mean, you can have a, a passionate discussion, obviously, but no fights or anything, right? Um, and then let's, let's just go around the room uh, after everyone's had a few minutes to do this, and let's discuss why you chose the illities you did and why you ranked them highest. Let's go this way. Dan, would you care to discuss your team's rankings? Uh, yes. um, so we decided that availability, of course, because if your application is not available, then a lot of these other things are kind of pointless. Okay. Uh, there was some debate about what that means, um, but 
So we've decided it means availability within the period that's supposed to be available. Whether it's 24-7 or two hours or two minutes, as long as it's available within that window, we're cool. Uh, usability, uh, application has to be usable, otherwise no one's going to want to use it. Right. Um, maintainability, um, I think this kind of, so this was brought up that this kind of dependent upon what we're building. If it's something that we're going to build once and not really touch again, it really doesn't matter. But for most of the applications we work on, maintainability is important. Uh, durability needs to be able to handle uh, failures and, and whatever comes from this way. Um, and then number five, we were kind of on the fence between testability and flexibility. Um, so we just went with testability since that was the first one I came Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Patrick, do you want to? <laughs> 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 uh, we voted for maintainability and reliability first up, first and foremost, readability, sorry, readability. And it's kind of our base two. The other four were usability, testability, reusability, and accessibility, and those were all depending on the application. Kind of the base ones and whatever else the application does. Right on. Thanks. Dave? Hi, Rich. How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. So my team over here, Team Awesome, um, we had a, quite a bit of debate between what was usable versus what was reliable. Um, but uh, ultimately, you know, you have a series of systems that at times can be usable but are not necessarily reliable. They can go down pretty frequently. So we felt that from uh, the number one that, uh, that the system had to be usable. That was the, the key item for us. Uh, number two is, of course, it has to be reliable. It has to be you know, available to the user, to the customer population on a, you know, mm -hmm. semi-regular basis. Um, we felt that for number three, there were quite a few items that were kind of lumped in all you know, together. Readability, testability, maintainability, all of those kind of factored in as part of, you know, um, a core theme here. Um, mm -hmm. And then four uh, was feasibility. Okay. Um, and I just actually asked Ashley, I was like, what the heck is feasibility? And, and we ultimately came to the conclusion that that's whether something was architecturally sound and it made sense to do. Huh. Uh, and then finally, five uh, was uh, was one that the, the team came up with as likability. Do people like us? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh. that, that is something that we felt that uh, was, was a characteristic that was close. I love it. Yeah. The, the insecurability. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Who would like to to be last? <laughs> Uh, so as you can see here, our first uh, one was functionality, but we realized by definition that is a functional requirement. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we decided that usability is extremely important because if the person can't use the software, then there's no point. Um, but at the same time, that ties directly into availability because if you don't have availability, can you really use it? <laughs> Uh, then the second like, one was like Jason's the availability of that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> uh, then the second one was stability because you need the the project to continue to be available and um, usable, um, and then maintainability because if you can't come back and change that project at all, then it may no longer be usable within that time period. So cool. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Those are awesome, and I I love that. Everybody's lists are different. Um, that's been my experience. Um, I first did this exercise in the 90s when I worked at at, a, at Freddie Mac when I was helping to destroy the secondary mortgage market, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and that was purchase. I was on servicing, so I'm, I'm innocent. Um, so since everyone did did their ranking, I'd like to share how I rank um, these illities. And this is this was off the the cuff. This was actually the last slide that I put together this morning um, before I showered and everything. Um, so it's stinky. Um, so for me, maintainability and operability are the most important illities that I think of when I sit down to work on software because I feel like if it's maintainable and if I can operate it, if I, if I can read the logs, if the logs speak to me, if something's going wrong, um, that all the other illities will be easier to bring along for the ride. Um, so that's why I focus on maintainability and operability personally. Um, testability is important to me. I like to write my tests first if I can. Um, that's not always possible, but that's what I strive to do. I find that actually helps me understand the functionality um, 
better. Um, extensibility and flexibility are next. Um, just like I think a lot of a, a lot of you sort of became more vague or less um, uh, less confident in your rankings the deeper into your list into the list that you went. I've, I'm the same way. I, I could go either way, pretty much from three down. Um, but extensibility and flexibility seemed like something that was more important than necessarily scalability. I, like, I, like I said, I feel like if I've made the software maintainable, if I can enhance it, I can make it fast and I can make it scale. And reusability, yeah, I was really sort of getting into the uh, whatever uh, zone here with, with that. I'm not sure if reusability is, is, is the best. After having listened to the, to the group, perhaps usability, um, it would be better. Uh, I would be better served if I focused on usability there. But anyways, I didn't want to let myself off the hook and, and I wanted to share my, how I rank these things. So um, again, there's no right answer. The, the whole point of this discussion is just to make sure we're, or to encourage everyone to think about these illities when you're working on a project. Um, as well, to be sort of self-aware, right? Sometimes we, I think we find we, we prematurely optimize, we, we prioritize uh, performance or scalability when maybe we don't really need to. Um, maybe you're early on in the project and it's okay if things are a little on the slow side as long as you ship code and get confidence and trust from your customer, then you can begin to chip away at those other illities. Um, but anyways, the whole point of this, again, is just to make, make sure everyone uh, is thinking about these things. Um, I, think, I think you'll be glad you do uh, if you do keep these things in, in mind and I think your customer will be thrilled. So thanks a lot. <laughs>